thank you for joining me for today's practice. My name's Paula. Today's practice is all about the spine and we're just gonna move it in lots of different directions and just get the whole body moving as well. So if you do have a block, uh, just please have it um, nearby. We're just going to use it at the beginning of the class. If you don't have one, it's completely fine. You just hold the same positions that we will be, but you just won't have a block, okay? So have it beside you. We're going to start in a comfortable cross-legged position. Let's all start with the right leg in front. Just rest the hands lightly down onto the thighs, onto the knees, and let's close down the eyes. This easy, light attention on the breath. Just noticing where you're at today. And noticing with kindness and curiosity Gently starting to deepen to your breathing. As you inhale, start to grow up and out through the crown of the head. As you exhale, think about the waistline starting to draw in and the belly button starting to draw in. It's just very lightly engaging the sides of the body and the navel drawing in. So as you inhale, growing up. As you exhale, just drawing in the sides of the waist. So that sense of growing up and out through the crown. Try to let the hips be relaxed. Sometimes these inside the hip sockets here start to grip on. So you just try to keep that relaxed. Just one more full breath here with the eyes closed. And gently opening up the eyes. So grab your block. We're gonna take the block along the sides and then extend the block forward in front of the shoulders. You're gonna press the palms of the hands into the block. So it's gonna to start to activate the insides of the arms, taking one full breath, just holding here, lengthen up through both sides of the waist, and then take a big breath in as you take the arms up. Don't worry if you can't get that block all the way up above your head, you might need to hold it a little bit further forward. Let those lower ribs drop in, reach up, hold it here. Actively press the palms of the hands into the block. Keep the breath open. Keep pressing the palms of the hands into the block. I know this looks super simple, but I can actually get start to get a little bit tough. Try to grow out through both sides of the waist, reach the block a little bit high up towards the ceiling. Let the muscles at the base of the neck relax away from the ears. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, twist to your right. This may be letting the head go a little bit further. Try to be even with both sides of the body as you reach up. Keep pressing the palms of hands into the block. Keep breathing. Take one more big breath in, reach up. We're gonna keep the twist. We're just gonna release that right hand back behind you. Take the block with you. So the block's coming back behind you, just slightly to the right. That right hand can lightly stay on the block or just down onto the floor. Back of the left hand, hooking on top of that right thigh and then using the hand to help, help you find a little bit more twist. So now we've got something to leverage the twist on so you'll find it a little bit easier. Dropping that left sitting bone down, take a big inhale, reach up through the waist. Exhale, maybe find a little bit more twist. We're going to keep the twist, we'll just turn the head back so it comes back in line with the spine. Let the shoulders drop down and then drop the left ear down to the left shoulder. I'm just gonna open up the sides of the neck and up into the upper shoulders as well. So you might let the eyes close down. And just opening up that right side neck, drawing the tip of the right shoulder away from the ear. We're 
We'll just change the angle of the head slightly. So turn the head to look down towards your left armpit. Now you could just turn the neck a little bit, just find the spot where you want to just hold for another few breaths. Keep actively drawing the tip of that right shoulder away from the ear. And then let's return the head back up to center, unwind the body, come back to the middle, onto the fingertips, take a big inhale, grow up. As you exhale, walk your hands forward. You might stay on your fingertips if you want to stay quite active or maybe just bring the palms or hands down. Steep, slow breaths. And then walking the hands back up, taking that right hand away from the right hip and then coming up and over with that left arm. So big side body stretch here. You can keep stay on the hand or if you would like to come down to the forearm, just make sure this left hip isn't coming all the way up. Ground that left hip down, reach out through the top fingers and keeping your eyes somewhere where that feels comfortable. If you feel okay for your neck, then turning the head to look up. Make sure this right shoulder is not hunching up near your ear. So pressing down for that bottom hand or forearm. Turn the eyes to look back to center, bringing that left arm back down. Keep the body where it is and then let the head relax down. Just a nice little stretchy for the, the neck. And then imagine someone's pulling you up and you let the head trail behind as you come back up. Let's swap the legs around. So taking the left leg in front and once again, grab your block. Palms the hands to the side of the block and then just taking the block in front of the shoulders, activating through the inner edges of the arms, lengthen up through the spine, easy breathing. Then take an inhale, reach the arms up, maybe up above the head or maybe slightly forward. Keep pressing the palms, the hands into the block, those lower ribs relaxing in. Can you grow up a little bit more through the sides of the body as you drop the muscles at the base of the neck away from the ears? Continue to press the palms and hands into the block, taking an inhale. As you exhale, take a twist to your left. Trying to keep the arms straight if you can. Eyes might look a little bit further over towards your left. Take one more big inhale. Keep the twist. Just hold onto the block with that left hand. Take it back behind you hooking that right hand onto the outside of that left thigh. You might just place that left hand down to the block or down to the mat and then using that right hand to help you find that little bit more twist now. Just being mindful not to overturn the neck. That right sitting bone dropping down. Take a big inhale, grow up. Stay for the exhale. See if there's any more twists, keep the twist. Just return the head back in line with the spine. When you're ready, dropping that right ear down to the right shoulder. Just opening up that left side neck now. Closing the eyes if that feels good. You're drawing the tip of that left shoulder away from the left ear. Just making, that, making sure that right shoulder is also dropping away. You're not scrunching it up by the ear. Slight change in the orientation of the head. So turning the head to look down towards that right armpit. You might want to have a little play around with the right angle, but it's finding a spot that you can hold deep, easy breaths. And then let's return the head back up to center. Unwind the spine back to the middle. Onto your fingertips, take an inhale, grow up, and then exhale, walking your hands forward to where you can. <sighs> oh. 
hopefully feeling like you can already start to take a few deeper, easier breaths through that work in the upper body, shoulders, neck, and starting to move through the spine. And then let's walk the hands back up. Going for our side stretch here, taking that left hand away from you. So you don't want to be too crowded. Take it away from you, taking that right arm up and over. You might find it useful to come all the way down to the forearm. You might not, just up to you. Press down into that right sitting bone and reach out through the right fingertips. Your choice with your eyes if it feels okay. Maybe looking up past that top arm towards the ceiling. And then return the head back to center. Keep the body where it is. Let's just bring that right arm down. Let the head relax and imagine someone's pulling you up so the head trails behind. Then take an inhale, coming all the way back up. Nice. Let's come over the knees into our tabletop position. Just setting yourself up, wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And we'll start with a few cat cows. We're just going to release the belly down, lift the eyes into your cow. Inhale as you exhale, tucking the tailbone under, press the middle part of the spine up towards the ceiling, tuck the chin in into your cat. And then inhale, unfurl the spine down. And exhale, go the other way. And again, inhaling. And exhale. Release back to your neutral. We're going to take some circles with the spine, head, hips slightly to the right, and then allow yourself to come through cat in the center and then head, hips to the left, and then C curve through the spine as the head, hips come through the center, and then arch through the spine, hips and head to the right. And just continue. And sometimes it can take a little bit of time to find this action. It might feel a little bit uncoordinated, but just give it a go. Don't worry about it being right or wrong. We're just trying to move the spine in as many directions as we can and just try to enjoy yourself. And we're going to change the direction next time you come through center. So we're just starting to the left. Actually, this way, yes. It might take a little bit of time just to work it out. Just another few rounds. And let's finish it off. Come back to center. And take a little moment just in your neutral position. Take that right foot back, tuck the right toes under, and then carry the right leg over to the left. It'll come off your mat, keep the toes tucked under. And then turn the eyes to look back towards that right foot. So if you're looking from above, trying to make a crescent moon shape with the spine, try not to let that right hip drop down, keeping it lifting up. Draw the front of the body in towards the spine, into the back body. And then let's carry this right leg up level with the torso and let's point through the toes. Inner edge of that right leg lifting up towards the ceiling. Draw the lower ribs in. And then if you can extend that left arm forward, crown of the head reaching forward, keep breathing. Try to lift out of that right wrist. And then left hand down, right leg down. Sit back towards the heels into your child's pose. Maybe letting the head rest all the way down. You can relax the arms if you'd like to. And then let's come back up into your tabletop position. Extend this left leg back, tuck the left toes under, and then carry this left foot off the mat over to the right, keeping the toes tucked under. Eyes peeking over that right shoulder, looking towards that left foot. Remembering to, try not, let, to not let that left hip drop down, active through the back of that left thigh. and then carry this left leg up 
level with the torso, pointing through the toes. Lift the front of the body away from the mat and then let's extend that right arm forward. Just coming into your bird dog position here. Open breath. Take one more full breath. And then hand and the leg down. Tuck the toes under, come into your down facing dog. Pressing down into the palms of hands, lifting the hips up towards the ceiling. Lift the heels up, inhale, exhale, heels to the right. And we're just gonna move through, inhale, swivel on the balls of the feet, heels lift up, exhale to the left. Inhale, onto the balls of the feet, heels to the right. Inhale through centre, heels to the left. And inhale back through centre. Start to walk the feet forward up towards the top of the mat. All the way up, coming into your Uttanasana. Feel free to keep the knees bent as much as you need to here. Let the head relax down. Take an inhale into your halfway lift. Hands can come to the shins, extend forward through the spine. And then exhale to fold. Feel free to bend the knees. Take the hands just about a foot forward in front of the feet. And then we're going to bend into the left leg straight through the right leg. Reach the right arm up towards the ceiling, inhaling. As you exhale, wrap that right arm behind the back. Just reaching for the inside of that left thigh. Hold it here. Eyes might look up towards the ceiling. Trying to press down through the outside edge of that right foot. Try to lift away from that bottom hand and keep the fingertips down. Reach that right arm back up, inhale. Exhale, swap it over. So we're gonna bend into that right knee, straight through the left leg. Take the left arm up, inhale. Exhale, wrap that right arm behind, you're reaching for that right thigh. Inside of the thigh if you can. And if not, you're just letting the arm rest where you need it to rest. Press down through the outside edge of that left foot. Continue to be active through lengthening out through the crown of the head, turning the shoulders towards the ceiling. Taking that left arm back up towards the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, soften through that left knee. Let the head relax down. Drop the hips down, take a spinal roll to come all the way up. Press down through the feet, reach the arms out to the side. Palms, the hands come together at the top. Exhale, release the hands down, bringing them into your prayer position. And let's just take a few moments here. Let the eyes close. Weight dropping down to the feet. Let's open up through the eyes. Release the arms down by your side. We'll reach the hands forward and up. So take the arms up towards the ceiling. Take an inhale, drop the tailbone down, lift the sternum up. We're gonna open up through the arms. Take the hands onto the back of the pelvis, thumbs to the inside if you can. So fingers are pointing up, if not, Fingers can point down. Drop the tailbone down, lift the sternum, squeeze the elbows in, maybe the head can drop back. Inhale. And then as you exhale, come forward, hinge forward through the hips, soften through the knees, let the hands slide down the legs, let the head relax down. Take an inhale into your halfway lift, hands can be on the shins. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, step the right foot back and then the left foot back, coming into your plank position. Take an inhale, exhale, knees come down and then shift the hips slightly back, diving the chest in between the hands, release the tops of the feet down. Inhale, maybe cobra, maybe coming up into your up facing dog, softer variation, knees can be slightly down, still active through the backs of the legs. Shift back onto the knees, tuck the toes under, back into down facing dog. Take one breath here. Turn the right heel in towards the left. So there's a, just a small angle on this right foot. 
And then we're going to take this left leg up into your three-legged dog. Let the hip open out. This might be plenty for you. Feel free to stay here for a moment and bend into this left, left knee. And then we're going to start to walk this right hand a little bit further back. So you just come onto the fingertips. Core starts to get active here just because we're trying to balance. We'll keep walking this right hand back towards that right foot if you can. You might be able to reach the fingers all the way towards the right toes. Keep breathing, keep pressing into that left hand. If you can, maybe hold the outside of the right shin, maybe up to the right hip. For some of you, maybe reaching, holding the inside of that left foot, starting to kick that left knee up. Keep breathing. Gently release. Walk that right hand back. Rotate the feet back to your parallel. Well done. Take a moment. Lift onto the balls of the feet. Take the right leg up to your three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, knee to chest, step it forward in between the hands, drop that left knee down, release the top of the left foot down. Sweep the arms up, just taking an inhale. As you exhale, twisting to the right, you're going to drop that right hand onto the back of the left thigh, keep reaching this left arm up towards the ceiling. You might be able to slide that right hand a little bit further down the right thigh, turning the shoulders to the right. Find the breath, ground down into that right heel. Imagine you're trying to drag the right heel towards that left knee. Keep turning the shoulders. One more full breath. Come back to center. Take an inhale. You might shift your hips slightly forward. Circle the arms all the way back and down to frame the front foot. Tuck the back toes under. Lift the back knee off and start to straighten into your pyramid with this front leg. Lift that left heel up towards the ceiling. If you need to keep this front leg slightly bent, that is fine. Or even come a little bit higher up onto your fingertips. Draw that right hip back. Belly button lifting away from the right thigh. Easy breath. Soften into that right knee and stepping forward. Uttanasana. Let the head relax down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Sweep the arms up as if you're going into your Utkatasana. Reach the arms up. Press down through the feet. Inhale, circling the arms back. Take the hands onto the back of the pelvis. Thumbs to the inside. Drop the tailbone down. Take an inhale. Exhale. Forward fold, Uttanasana, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, fold, bend the knee, step the left foot and then the right foot back, plank position, inhaling, exhale, knees down, hips slightly back, dive the chest in between the hands, top of the feet release down, inhale, cobra, or soft up dog, exhale, Back, tuck the toes under, down facing dog. And one breath. Now, the left heel comes in towards the right. So there's a, this left foot is slightly on an angle. And then the right leg lifts to your three-legged dog and then let the hip turn out, bending at the knee. Try to keep the shoulders square to the mat. And then starting to come under the fingertips of this left hand, starting to walk it back. Keep breathing. Just testing your balance. Maybe taking that left hand all the way back, fingers pointing towards that left, the left toes. Take it onto the outside of the left leg, maybe to the left hip. Maybe binding with the inside of that right foot. Starting to kick that right knee up. Keep breathing. Gently release. Both feet down, parallel. 
Deep breath in and deep breath out. Take that left leg up to your three-legged dog. Inhale, stepping it forward. Drop that right knee down, top of the right foot down. Sweep the arms up, Anjaniyasana. Inhaling, exhale to drop that left hand back behind you onto the back of the right thigh, reaching the right arm up. Maybe sliding that left hand down the thigh a little bit. Try to think of both sides of the body being even. We'll tend to shorten on the left side here. So think about growing out of that left side waist in particular. Take one more full breath, reach up. As you exhale, see if there's any more twists. And then bring that left arm back up, maybe shifting the hips a little bit further forward, taking an inhale. Exhale to circle the arms all the way back, all the way down. Frame the front foot, tuck the back toes under, lift the right knee off, shifting into your pyramid variation here, lifting that right heel up towards the ceiling. I'm trying to draw that left hip crease back. Soften into this left knee to step forward. Uttanasana, let the head relax down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, sweep the arms up into your Utkatasana shape. We'll just keep moving through, press down through the feet, drop the tailbone down. Inhale, lift the sternum, let the arms circle back. Hands onto the back of the pelvis, drop the tailbone down, hips forward, inhale. Exhale, folding forward. Relax the head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, stepping the right foot back, the left foot back. Maybe going for your full chaturanga. Inhale, exhale, halfway down. Press through the balls of feet. Inhale into your up dog. Shoulders back, maybe eyes lift, lift through the belly, back into down dog. Taking a breath. Right heel comes back in towards that left foot. Left leg lifts up, three legged dog, let the hip open out, bending into the knee. So just coming to this down dog scorpion variation again, starting to walk this right hand back towards the right foot. Be even as you press into that left hand, reach the right fingers back, maybe holding onto the leg, the hip, if you can, catching the inside of that left foot, kicking the knee up. Last breath. And gently release, return both feet down. Just take a moment, press down to the knuckles of the hands. Rise up into the balls of the feet and let's take that right heel up into your three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, stepping it forward in between the hands, drop down to that left knee, release the top of the left foot down. Sweep the arms up, Anjaneyasana, inhale, and then exhale, dropping that right hand down to the back of the left thigh and turning the shoulders to the right. It's feeling really free to stay here, just be mindful of your knee. If you can, you can bring that left foot in towards the bottom, You're using that as a little bit of a lever to help you twist a little bit further. Keep engaging through the belly, keep the breath open. One more full breath, see if you can turn a little bit more. Gently release that left foot back down. Sweep the right arm back up. Maybe shift the hips a little bit further forward. Take a big inhale, circling the arms down. Hands come down by that front foot. Tuck the back toes under. Lift the left knee off and moving back into your, moving the hips back into your pyramid pose here. Draw that right hip up. One breath. Soften into that right knee, stepping forward with that left foot. Let the head relax down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
bend the knees, sweeping the arms up into your Utkatasana, and then keep coming up, drop the tailbone down, circling the arms out, hands come to the back of the pelvis, drop the tailbone down, lift the sternum, squeeze the elbows in, and then exhale, fold through the hips, sliding the hands down, let the head relax. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Bend the knees, step the left leg back, right foot back, take an inhale, exhale, knees come down, or you might go full chaturanga, diving through, inhale, cobra or your up facing dog, and tucking the toes under back into your down facing dog. Take a breath. Coming back into our scorpion, scorpion variation here, I'm going to bring that left heel in towards the right heel. And then lift that right leg up towards the ceiling, letting the hip turn out a little bit, bending into that right knee. Try to keep the shoulders square to the mat. Starting to lighten up onto this left hand, walking this left hand back. Keep pressing evenly into this right hand. Draw the navel in, open breath. Maybe releasing the hand onto the leg, to the hip. Maybe going for your bind. Starting to kick that right knee up if you're in your bind. Keep breathing. For three, for two, for one. Gently release. Come back into your parallel position with your feet. One breath. Rise up under the balls of feet. Take that left leg up. Inhale. Exhale, stepping it forward in between the hands. Come down to that right knee, release the top of the right foot down, sweeping up, Anjani Asana. Inhale, releasing that left hand back behind you onto that right thigh, reach the right hand up, turning the shoulders to the left, feeling really free to stay here, or maybe bringing that left right foot in, sorry, into your bottom, taking hold of the inside of the foot. Use that as a bit of a lever to help you keep turning to the left. Keep breathing. One more full breath. Gently release the foot down. Sweeping that left arm up. Maybe let the hips shift forward. Inhale, circle the arms all the way back. Bring the hands down. Tuck the back toes under. Knee comes off. Straightening into that front leg pyramid. Right heel lifting up. Bend into that left leg, stepping forward, Uttanasana, let the head relax. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Bend through the knees, Utkatasana, sweeping the arms up. Press down through the feet to strain the legs, palms the hands together. This time draw the hands down in front of the chest. Let the shoulders relax down, elbows drop in, close down the eyes for a moment. Weight dropping down to the feet. A little soft bend through behind the knees so you're not locking out the legs. And then let's open up the eyes, release the arms down by your side. Step your left foot out to the side just so you're facing me. Feet about a leg's length distance apart. So we're coming into our Prasarita Padatanasana legs here. Feet are parallel, so toes are pointing forward. Bring the hands to the waist. Take an inhale to lengthen up through the waist, lift the sternum up. As you exhale, folding forward through the hips, shifting the weight forward onto the balls of the feet. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Keep drawing the legs up. And if you need to keep the legs slightly bent, that's fine. This is somewhere you might want to use a block as well. You could stay here, but if you can, try to walk your hands a bit further away as if you're in your down facing dog torso and then let the hips shift slightly back into the heels. Keep pressing down through the outside edges of the feet. A little bit of engagement, those lower ribs drawing in towards the spine. Keep breathing. Now we're going to bend into your right leg, 
thread the left arm under, holding the outside of that right shin. And then you're gonna to start to straighten into that right leg, twisting to your right. So twisting the shoulders to the right. That left hip wants to drop down, you wanna to try to lift that left hip back up, trying to level it out. At the same time, keep turning the shoulders. Trying to press back in between the scapula. And then let's release. Come back to centre for a moment. And then swapping it around, we're going to bend into that left leg, thread the right arm under, holding the outside of the shin, and then start to straighten into that left leg as you keep turning the shoulders to your left. And this time it's that right hip that wants to drop down, keep lifting it back up. And then let's release back to centre. Walk your hands back underneath the shoulders. Just take a breath here. And then let's walk the hands around towards the top of your mat. So just rotating that right foot back towards the top of the mat. And we're just going to step to the outside of the right hand, coming down into your Malasana squat now. The palms, the hands coming together. Try to press out with your elbows, a little bit of a squeeze in with the inner thighs. This is somewhere you could always sit on a block if you need a little bit more support, or you could even just sit your hips all the way down and just take your feet a bit further away. Just allowing the hips to be heavy. Just feeling free to stay here, otherwise we're going for our twist variation here. So you're gonna hook that right shoulder underneath that right leg, place the right palm down. Open that left arm up towards the ceiling. Feeling free to stay here or maybe going for your bind. Wrap that right arm behind the back, reaching back. You could take your monkey grip. You might be able to reach for your wrist. And then extending that left arm back up if it wasn't already there, swapping it around. So hooking that left shoulder underneath the left thigh, palm down, reach that right arm up. Maybe going for your bind, wrapping that left arm behind you, reaching back, taking your fingers or taking hold of that right wrist. Shoulders turning to the right, let the hips be heavy, open breathing. Releasing that back hand, right arm back up, inhale, come back to center. Just take one breath, palms pressing together, and then use your hands, come down to a seated position, extending the legs out long in front of you. Give the legs a little bit of a wriggle out here. Press down through the backs of thighs, reach the arms up, take an inhale, and then exhale, coming forward into your Paschimottanasana, Hold onto the legs where it feels comfortable. If you want to work a little bit more actively, thumbs at the base of the big toes. Use your thumbs to try to press the big toe mounds forward. Keep the feet flexed, toes towards the face. Draw the quadriceps up. Take a big inhale, lengthen forward and up. And then as you exhale, try to fold a little bit further down. We'll just do that one more time. Inhale, lengthen forward and up. Exhale, coming down. And then inhale, coming back up. Arms up to shoulder height, draw the navel in, rolling all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Bend the knees up. Setting up for your Setta Bandhasana. So fingertips reaching down towards the heels, feet hip distance apart, and then peeling the spine off, pressing down through the base of the big toes. You might keep your arms here, otherwise interlace the fingers, creep up a little bit high onto the tips of the shoulders. Just pressing down through the feet as you lift the sternum up.
Take one more big inhale. And then as you exhale, release those arms, coming all the way back down. Soles the feet together, knees open wide. Just taking a moment. And then bring the knees back up, separate the feet hip distance apart. Once again, we're going to go up to Setta Bandhasana, option for those of you that want to take it to come into a full back bend. We've prepared the spine nicely. So let's lift the hips up. For your choice, you might be staying here, interlacing the fingers underneath the back. If you're going for Urdhva Danyarasana, I'm going to bring the fingertips to point back to the shoulders, elbows hugging in, pointing up towards the ceiling. Come up onto the crown of the head, trying to keep those elbows in. Press down into the feet, into the arms, coming into your back bend. Just five breaths. Active through the inner thighs, so they're drawing in together. Try to shift the weight back into the hands. Lift the hips up, take one more big inhale, and then tuck the chin in. And coming all the way back down. Let the knees drop in together. Arms away from the body, close down the eyes. Just trying to slow down the breathing. And then feet hip distance apart. Take the legs straight up towards the ceiling. Now, if you can, try to bring the feet in a little bit closer towards you. So it's as if you're doing your Paschimottanasana, your forward fold, but you're down on your back. And if possible, hold on to the big toes. Otherwise, you might just hold on to the legs wherever you can. Just try to keep them as straight as possible. If you're holding on to the big toes in particular, you'll probably be able to feel this action of pressing down through the back of the pelvis as you bring the legs in towards you. So you try to press it down through the back of the pelvis and then bring the legs in towards you. Take one more full breath. Stay for the exhale. And then we're gonna come into our happy baby. So bring the knees in towards the armpits, hold the outside edges of the feet, squeezing in as you press down through the back of the pelvis. You might rock from side to side a little bit. Just massaging out the lower back. And then come back to center, take an inhale, stay for the exhale, squeeze in one last time. And then let's release all the way down. Extend the legs out long. Just getting ready for your Shavasana. Make sure you're warm enough. Arms a little bit away from the body. Just take those little adjustments as you need. Allow the eyes to close completely. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Just allowing the breath to settle back into its natural rhythm. So some breaths might be long and some breaths might be short. very lightly continuing to observe the breath and the body. Surrendering the weight of the body. allowing yourself to come to complete rest for the next few minutes.
Just feel free to stay lying here. If you'd like to get moving, start to deepen into your breath, feeling the whole body from the tips of the toes to the crown of the head with your breath, giving the toes and the fingers a little bit of a wriggle, bending one knee up at a time, just rolling over onto the right side of the body and use that right arm underneath the head, just taking a little moment in this curled up position. It's a very nourishing pose, just being on the side of the body. This last couple of breaths here. Using that left hand to come up to a seated position. Just take a moment to find your seat. Letting the hands rest down on the legs. Sitting bones grounding down as you lengthen up through the entire spinal column. Just finishing off where we started in our seat. Bringing the palms the hands together in front of your chest, bowing the head down towards your hands. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. Namaste. Thanks so much, everyone. See you next time.